Hey, this is Pastor Michael Yurisha, and I want to invite you to hit that like and subscribe button and drop us a comment if you will. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive all of our updates. God bless you. Come on, let's get to the word. So the devil wants to hijack and destroy everything and anything that represents God and his love, his grace and his mercy, including the foundation of marriage in Genesis 1 and 2 throughout the Bible. Now I need my first slide up here right now because I need you to buckle up here. Come on, there it is. Here comes the spiritual advisory. This will not be politically correct. Somebody say, thank you, Pastor. This will not be religiously correct. Somebody say, thank you, Pastor. But we've shown off going to be biblically correct. We're not worried about religion. We're not worried about politics. All right, so here comes show and tell time. I need my first slide, Caleb. All right, this is our embassy in Vatican City. You all see a flag flying there. All right, what is that flag representing? Homosexuality. Come on, speak. It's affirming the LGBTQ alphabet community. This was in the Vatican. Do you know what the Vatican is? That's the center of the Catholic Church. As of last year, these flags now fly on all of our embassies around the world. So what does this rainbow flag represent to the world? LGBTQ, lesbians, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and on. It's affirming their lifestyle. Do you see how the devil hijacked God's symbol of grace? I'm going to show it to you in the Bible, Genesis chapter 9, verse 11. I will establish it my covenant with you. Never again will all life be destroyed by the water of a flood. Never again will there be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. The first book of the Bible speaks about it, and the last book of the Bible speaks about the rainbow. Revelation chapter 4 verse 1. After this, I looked, and there before me was a door standing open in heaven. This is John up in heaven. And the voice I had first heard speaking to me like a trumpet said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this at once. I was in the spirit, and there before me was a throne in heaven with someone sitting on it. And the one who sat there had the appearance of jasper and a ruby. A rainbow shone like the emerald encircled the throne. I'm telling you, the rainbow belongs to our God. Listen, saints of God, the rainbow that God placed in the sky, the rainbow that's around the throne of Jesus Christ in heaven is not to show his affirmation to the LGBTQ community. Not when Revelation uh, chapter uh, 21 states this, verse 8, but the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vile, the sexually immoral, those who practice magic arts and idolaters and liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. This is the second death. I know this is hard preaching, but we must deal with truth if we're going to move on somebody. Stop affirming these things. I, 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 I was, Darla and I were at Walmart and a, a young man named, I, would, I don't know, I'm not going to say his name, waited on me and definitely was flipping to the other side. And I said, hey, can you help me? I said, all right, thank you, my man. I'm not going to lie on your behalf. 
God created them. Male and female, he created them. Nobody changes that by what they wear or what kind of surgery they've had. Listen, saints of God, I know you heard me say this before, but this LGBTQ uh, community is not about sexual freedom. It's an all-out assault on God and his creation, specifically male and female. Let me say this again. When you have a judge in the highest court in the land that can't define the word woman because she's not a biologist, that's outright delusion or it's a blatant lie. One or the other. Listen to me. Please set your politics aside. Please set the color of your skin aside because this Bible, Genesis, is written to every tongue, every nation, every language, all over the world. There's one truth. There's not a truth for Democrats and a truth for Republicans. There's not different truths whether you're white, brown, black, or yellow. There's one truth. You can't define a woman. Listen, I don't need to be a veterinarian to define a dog. Listen, saints of God, we're under assault. Wake up and smell the coffee, Church of Jesus. My next slide, please. Here's Time Magazine's Woman of the Year. Oh, oh, wait, that's a man. Leave it there, Caleb. I want you to look at this. That is Richard Levine before he put on a wig and a dress and some lipstick and became Rachel Levine. Y'all watching this? Now put up the real slide. Here's Time, Woman of the Year. This is what, Time Magazine, I mean, they're laying the standard. Richard Levine's a pediatrician. Not that I would take my child there. A four-star admiral in the United States Public Health Service Commissioned Corps who has been the United States Assistant Secretary for Health. His motto, be true to yourself. I'm not done. We're, this is show and tell. Here's the NCAA woman's 500-yard freestyle champ. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. Y'all getting a good look at this? This is William Thomas. Before he grew his hair and had hormone therapy. William Thomas is now Leah Thomas. Next slide, please. This just happened like a month ago or so. The women's activist group are finally starting to step up. So this isn't even fair. Do you see the size difference? Th this, is, this wasn't like photoshopped or anything. This is where we are, saints of God. The woke world of Disney is now fighting the state of Florida because the state just passed a law prohibiting public schools teaching kindergarten and kindergartners to third graders about transgenderism. Disney's going crazy. New Jersey, just this past weekend, passed a law. It is mandatory that your second grader is taught about gender identity. If you live in New Jersey and your children go to the public school, that's what they're going to be taught second grade. We're talking about seven-year-olds. Do you really want anyone teaching your seven-year-old 
about gender identity. To proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ To every nation, every generation To all creation to proclaim the gospel of Jesus